spoiler alert, this is not a Jewish YouTube channel. This is a Zionist YouTube channel. <laughs> you know how I know that? Here's one of their other recent videos. Every good Jew is a Zionist to a level. Even the anti-Zionist ultra-Orthodox just say only the ultra-Orthodox Messiah can pronounce the beginning of the Zionism, but they are some in some form Zionist as well. If you are totally not Zionist, you are, not, you are doing Judaism wrong. Yes, I said it openly. Just to, uh, and to be clear, this uh, Rudy, I believe, in the video will go over this, but the most fundamental basic definition of Zionism is the na is is the national aspiration for uh, for the Jewish people uh, within Zion, which is Jerusalem. So it's it's a clearly geographic term um, implying uh, a group wanting to achieve some national identity within that region. Um, th th there is a lot of effort from the leftists to assign more terms, more meaning to it, but it's uh, it's all going to be from the outside. These are not definitions from the group itself. Yes. So you um, take it as you want. Just to simplify things for people abroad, Zionism is the same as French people wanting France to exist or Swedish people wanting the country Sweden to exist. Zionism is simply the wish for Israel to continue existing. And of course, the majority of Israelis want their country to continue existing. So that is what Zionism is. When you say you're anti-Zionist, you say and to Israelis, I do not want your country to exist. So I don't even know if these people who call themselves anti-Zionists really know what they're saying. Jews. Debate Zionist Jews. You see, to the Zionist, all Jews who do not support Israel and her right to conquer the Palestinian territories is a lost Jew, a traitor to their people and to their kind. Based. And it has been the... Po Excuse me. It has been the policy of Zionists to besmirch, to belittle, to demean, to dehumanize, to excise, to ridicule, <laughs> and to disenfranchise. He just he bought a copy of the Thesaurus, so he's trying to impress everyone. What what Every is this Jew franchise? There is a, some U.S. A, a legal advisory to to revoke the right to vote in America for Jew who indifferent to a Zionism by I, I mainstream he's, he's Jewish organization. I don't, I don't he know. just did a monologue with big words. He didn't think yeah. about no. anything. The, the best part of this monologue is that he's describing himself when he says disenfranchise, remove rights. That's what he's doing. Dehumanizing. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing to Israelis, and to uh, and, and right wingers in America as a whole is a rabid yeah. commie. Yeah, this is Israel and Zionism and APAC. This is very common if you look in far right conservative Zionist publications. They will very frequently decry anti-Zionist Jews as being traitors to their people. What's more, of of course they are. We just explained why. If you're anti-Zionist, you're saying Israel shouldn't exist. The whole point of Judaism is a return to our country. So you can't really be anti-Zionist and, and, and a Jew, or you, you hate your own country. It's like being an American that wants America to disappear, to not exist. Do you want America also, to not exist? I mean, what, what is going on? Also, it's uh, quite cringe. All these reform Jews made Berlin their new Zion, literally, in their uh, code of uh, text. Look what happened to this new Zion uh, 70 years later after that decision. When they say New York is the new Zion. Now, uh, sadly, some uh, deranged uh, nation of Islam, a uh, minority people, uh, beating up and stabbing Jews openly just because they're Jews in New York and the progressive males don't do anything because... Uh, this minority beats uh, Jews uh, no matter what, no matter when, no matter details, no matter facts. So all these new Zions all the time uh, uh, doesn't work. Look, uh, take a hint, uh, uh, liberal reform Jews. What, what about what about that? It always go wrong. Why you, can't you learn a lesson? Yeah, yeah they can't learn communism doesn't work. They, in the I say they need to learn lessons. They can't learn lessons. The purpose of this is to foundationally conflate Israel's nationhood with Judaism as a religion. This is the goal of this policy. 
Okay, so this is where you get it wrong. Judaism is not a religion. Jews are not a religion. Jews are a people, a nation. The actual word in the Bible is Am. Okay, Ein Mem. Which means that Jews already had the concept of nation long before uh, Europeans. About 2,500 years before. And Jews were not special. Other nations in the area had very similar concepts of nationhood. Uh, the Jews are Bnei Israel, the sons of Israel, uh, people who descend from Israel, from Yaakov. That's, uh, and, it, yeah. and, and it it's, means uh, as a nationalism uh, slash uh, religions combined in one. If you are some, uh, both parents uh, Philippine and converted Judaism uh, 200 years ago and joined the community, were 100% Jew for the community and for the religion. Yeah, it's the same with the, with the nation. If you, if you uh, immigrate to France and uh, you become a Japan is a better example so if you if you go to Japan they have they have, have a high uh, intolerance to co to cultural dishomogeneity hmm. so a person that comes in you can have a person that is you know fully African in appearance you know black uh, come and live in Japan speak Japanese the first few generations people are going to look askance but they're generally accepting over time genetic mixing occurs and you know it just becomes one more branch of being japanese mm -hmm. so we have we have no problem with these concepts existing um and i, I think that he's just um, he's playing this uh, playing a game here with words look no. i think he, i think you understood the main point but i think you accidentally took it to be too racial in the judaism if uh, let's say too Chilean uh, from Chile people, men and women converted to Judaism. As quote unquote, they became pure Jewish blood, uh, metaphorically speaking. And if they will start a community of 100% genetic Chilean people, they are considered 100% pure Jewish uh, metaphorical blood. It's more uh, nationhood than uh, racial, but uh, yes. you got well, the main point. Well, yeah, because. Yes. Because it's it's a it's a property cluster with it that's called mm -hmm. ethnicity and you know the the racial category is not the most important category within that cluster you ha you can have you know and this is kind of the point I was trying to get across that even in um, uh, it, it's not necessarily has to be a genetic thing but it has to be belonging to uh, to a national identity um, and and I think this this is why. Uh, there is an issue with uh, with leftist Jews in 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 the West is that they don't uh, they don't believe in national identity, so they kind of betray a part of of their own selves. Yes. And what here's here's the the other interesting part I was, was going to to raise. Uh, this definition is not just internal. So there is an internal component where you can say and Silver can say, Mossad can say what, and I can say what it means to be a Jew. And there's a great correlation in what in what we agree on. There's also outsiders that uh, for centuries have used the ethnicity. Uh, they would persecute anyone that looked like a Jew. They would persecute anyone that had a drop of Jewish blood in certain cases. Yeah. So it's it's all a game of, you know, right now he doesn't like these Jews, so he invents a reason why he doesn't like them. That's why it's to the core, it's actually is anti-Semitism what he's doing. Yeah. Um, Make Judy. Yeah, so I continue. Judaism and Israel inseparable, so any criticism of Israel is anti-Semitic, and any Jew who is not a Zionist... Not any uh, criticism, but yeah, build up a straw man, that's all you know what to do. You build up a straw man and, and then you show everyone how you defeat the straw man, Vosh, amazing. <laughs> there, there, is a, there is a distinction there is a... here, if you stop it for a second. We can criticize the United States all the time, and we do, As Amer I'm an American citizen, I can criticize the United States. What makes me un-American is if I'm going to say things like, you know, all Americans and then dash something awful. If I'm going to generalize just because, you know, a person has the same flag, if I'm going to say disparaging things that aren't critical of society or the government, but are critical of the whole people, that would make me um, an anti-American hater. Mm -hmm. uh, similarly, I could criticize the Russian government all day, and I can even criticize parts of Russian culture. But if I criticize all Russians as a group and say some ridiculous thing about them, then that would make, would make me a Russophobe in action. But so it's, it's a there's, very there's also thin line. A, another point, which is uh, if the only country, as an American, the only country you choose to obsess over is Israel, 
and you, you're not busy criticizing other nations, that's also a giveaway sign. Uh, that's that's what I find with many of these people. They, you know, uh, half a million people could be dying somewhere, but three people died in Israel, they'll be focused on Israel. Um, so that, that that's not really criticism, they're just obsession. Nothing more anti-Semitic to me than the suggestion that a Jew who does not support the brutal ethno-state fascist dic um, uh, a regime, not a dictatorship. <laughs> brutal ethno-state. Brutal, what are you talking about? Israel is a very nice place. Uh, you can be, an, where, even idiots like you can have a YouTube channel and talk crap all day. <laughs> a theocracy that is Israel is a traitor to their people there is no more anti-semitic group out there than the Zionist <laughs> that type of yes the Zionists really send commandos to Antebe to, 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 you know how I can... to grab back the uh, 150 Jews kidnapped by uh, PLO scumbags and two neo-Marxist Germans uh, to send them to Antebe to rescue them that we sent Mossad agents that could be tortured to death in inhumane torture to Ethiopia to rescue Ethiopian Jews. Uh, they did a very f interesting story about we started a fake hotel under Mossad uh, leadership to smuggle out Ethiopian Jews and so on and so forth. 